Wrong ones part ways, right ones find their way. Welcome back to Improve Better Daily. The article I'm sharing with you today is about, never marry a divorced man without these three advantages. In the morning, I saw a girl pouring out her feelings. She said she is 25 years old this year, working in customer services department. Because she just graduated last year, there are many things she doesn't understand, but there is a client who often guides her and treats her well. She feels that he is mature, elegant, with a good personality and temper. As they got closer, they finally got together. It's been almost a year now, the only downside is that, her boyfriend is 8 years older, has been married once, and has a 6-year-old son, who now lives with his ex-wife. He pays child support on time every month, visits regularly, and the son stays with him during holidays. When they first started dating, she knew about these things, feeling a bit conflicted, but didn't take it too seriously, thinking that everyone has a past. But now, as their relationship deepens and approaches marriage, many people around her are reminding her to be cautious about marrying a divorced man, being a stepmother is not easy, advising her to reconsider. While she really likes him, and their relationship is good, she is also worried about what others say, and her parents are against it too. They think their daughter should marry an unmarried man, and being with a divorced man, would make others think she's undesirable. They are also concerned about the fact, that he has a son from his previous marriage, worrying that their future grandchildren, won't receive all of their son-in-law's love, including inheritance. The girl asked me for advice, and I want to be honest. With the high divorce rates nowadays, whether it's divorced men or women, most of them have the desire to remarry. They have the right to pursue their happiness, and someone will eventually marry them. There are many happily remarried couples, but, of course, there are also many unhappy ones. Actually, discussing the considerations for remarriage, for the girl, the first thing she should clarify is the real reason for his divorce. This is more important than anything else. Generally speaking, when people talk about things unfavorable to themselves, they tend to present them in a way that favors them, or downplay certain things, or simply blame everything on the other party, even portraying themselves as victims. Recently, a girl confided in me, she and her husband are both remarried. Initially, her husband told her that the reason for divorcing his ex-wife was because she had an affair, and he couldn't bear the humiliation of being cuckolded. So he divorced her. But through some coincidences, she found out that her husband had cheated on his ex-wife, and the ex-wife was not the one who cheated. Many women have a habit, believing whatever others say, especially the men they love. Even if he says the sun will rise from the west tomorrow, they will believe it wholeheartedly, and are unwilling to seek the truth themselves. When the truth is revealed, they can't accept it. So, you must find out the real reason for his divorce. If it's a mother-in-law and daughter-in-law issue, it indicates that this man can't handle the relationship between his wife and mother, his emotional intelligence and problem-solving abilities are lacking. Although this may not necessarily be related to character, your days in the future will be very difficult. If a woman divorces because of issues with her mother-in-law, it indicates that this man tends to side with his mother, causing the woman to go from disappointment to despair. Of course, there is another possibility, that is, the daughter-in-law is extremely disrespectful to her in-laws, with a bad attitude, leading to the man choosing to divorce. In this case, it's a different story. If it's a compatibility issue between their personalities, you also need to find out, understand where the incompatibility lies. If it's not his ex-wife's fault, then the areas where he couldn't get along with his ex-wife, are likely to be the same areas where you won't get along with him in the future. Because women have many things in common. If a man is especially lazy, doesn't like doing household chores, or loves to play outside, resulting in the ultimate divorce, this problem can be split into two. We often see this phenomenon, a man behaves like a lord in his previous marriage, even indifferent to his wife, leading to the breakdown of the marriage. The ex-wife leaves happily, thinking that this man is a disaster for women. But after he remarries, suddenly he changes completely, takes great care of his new wife, surrounds her with affection every day. The ex-wife, upon hearing this, 
is almost driven to despair. So, in any relationship, there are variables, people show different sides to different people, and there is also the phenomenon of, one thing conquering another. But most men stick to their ways in these issues, stubborn and unchanging until death. So, if it's for this reason, women need to have high emotional intelligence, and the ability to handle men. Then there is a possibility of a sudden change. If you also treat him like a lord, then why wouldn't he act like one? If the issue is his ex-wife's or his own infidelity, you need to be especially cautious. If it's his ex-wife who cheated, although he may appear to be the victim, I find it unlikely that he was unaffected by such an experience. In the future, he may have shadows of mistrust towards women, for example, your normal interactions with male colleagues, might be seen as suspicious in his eyes. People who have been betrayed are weak in trust. Over time, you might become exhausted. If he hasn't completely moved on from this shadow, women should consider it carefully. If it's him who cheated, I don't need to say much. Girls, think about it yourselves. Apart from analyzing the reasons for divorce, the second issue is the ex-wife's personality and character. If the ex-wife has a good character, then it's not a problem. But if not, the ex-wife could become the most unstable factor in the next marriage. Her destructive power is 10 times that of a third party. When facing a third party, you can use your legitimate advantages, both in public opinion and psychologically. People will naturally support you. But if it's the ex-wife, it's different. She came first, or she may directly say that you are the cause of their divorce, and you'll be at a loss for words. If he brings the child over, you can't do anything about it. You can't not let the child come over, right? So, if you want happiness in marriage, the ex-wife is very important. The last issue is the child. If his previous child is not affected by the divorce, mentally healthy, positive, then your marriage will probably not be affected. But if his child completely rejects you, even if you don't live together, it may still affect your marriage to some extent. For example, if he comes to stay for a while, or if you are hostile to each other, remarriage is like the heart mode in the game, especially testing a woman's overall ability, especially emotional intelligence and problem-solving skills. Many remarriages are happy because many conditions are met, such as a kind mother-in-law, the husband has grown and reflected from the previous marriage, the ex-wife has a good character, and the stepchild is kind, and so on. But lacking any of these conditions, this marriage is prone to instability. That's it for today's sharing. Thanks to the member friends. Feel free to leave a comment and tell me your thoughts. Don't forget to like and share with your friends. Looking forward to meeting you.